43 of me is not nothing about. Nerdy Prince must die is finally here. Wow, that was, that was actually not bad. <laughs> I am thriving, thriving with how much Hatch of Your content I've been consuming this Halloween month. Perfect vibes. And if you're not aware or couldn't be there for some reason, I've recently hosted a Nightmare Time to Watch Party to finish the episodes before this reaction and you can watch that right here. So I feel ready. I'm ready for this. Yeah, famous last words. <laughs> and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome you nerds! Feel free to go and browse around because there's a lot of Star Kid content and non-Star Kid theatre content as well for you to discover. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button because it would be totally awesome! You know what else would be totally awesome? To be 10,000 of us by the end of the year. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's go! Ooh, you'll also find me on Patreon if you want to support the channel even further and get some extra content from time to time. Link below. Now, without further ado, happy Star Kid Halloween to me! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. It's ridiculous. Help! Somebody help me, please! Oh, look, it's the post of the show. <laughs> I don't know, that made me happy. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. <laughs> Where'd you get a lot of this mess? Sweet me Ralph when he saw it. Hatchet Fields finest, huh? Fucking hell. <laughs> Ooh, make room. She's so cool. <laughs> they twisted his nipples off. <laughs> Ew. Uh, he could have left a little love note for us. Nerdy prudes must die. There you go. <laughs> First the Yeagerman boy. Now this? Hey, you think that connected? I don't know, Bailey. Do Nighthawks shit in the woods? They shit on my car sometimes. <laughs> what? How the hell did this happen? <laughs> oh no. The blood was all but now Ooh, I liked how that note sounded. So clean. The way her voice immediately improves anything. Not that it was bad, but Jesus. No warning next time though. Her voice is too nostalgic at this point. Makes me feel things. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm already gonna pause it. Uh, this is gonna be long. I always have to be reminded that Hatcherfield is supposed to be in this world and roughly around our time because they have smartphones and social media and all that. And every time they mention anything familiar to our reality, I immediately think about how Hatcherfield could simply be an exaggeration of what it is like for us in the real world to be part of a society and have to share our space with other humans. Because I don't know, but I've always felt like this whole universe they created borrows a lot from Sartre's idea that hell is other people. You have so many of these characters making terrible decisions that allow evil to come in and affect other people around them. Like people going crazy about materialistic things on Christmas, or wanting to be immortal, or to have ultimate power to prove their father wrong. So I really like the idea that all this evil in Hatcherfield sort of feeds from the characters on dark side and how that connects to our reality as humans living in society. My God, God, it got very real very fast. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that transition was fire. Wow, the camera work really said I'll make it worth your money, didn't it? <laughs> Miss Lauter! Okay, so Angela's chesty and Joey's P? Absence can throw back. I'm here for it. Okay, I love it. I love it already. It's killing me. Oh, shy. I'm gonna be singing this for the rest of the year, won't I? Look at them getting serious with the lyrics. So freaking catchy. Oh, it's so cool. So cool to go back to the Nightmare Time episodes. Seriously, I love this universe. <laughs> I 
I love and hate her with the same intensity. No, actually, I love her a little bit more than I hate her. <laughs> I'm vibing so hard with this. It's killing me. <laughs> Never. <laughs> what? Bingo! Honestly, and the choreography was so good. Oh, the quality of this production as well. Oh my god. Go, Star Kid! And I really like how you can read it metaphorically and literally, right? Because high school is actually killing them. <laughs> Suspenders are cool, okay? Or maybe I'm just a nerd. <laughs> Oh no. And she started this rumor. Oh my god! You're my girl here! Oh no! <laughs> that is mean. Can I ask about it? It's not no, no. You can't. <laughs> this outfit is a tapestry of my trauma. It is designed to provoke <laughs> as little teasing as possible. Wow. Good job. <laughs> I didn't know you were funny. Ooh, it's happening again! Is their relationship one of those events that have to happen every time so that succeeding events fall into place? Who are you running from? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Is there a mono brow on Kim's forehead? <laughs> Come on, the looks are ruthless. <laughs> Yeah, the braces are the cherry on top in this costume, though. How is she gonna do a whole show with that? The lighting, I'm sorry. Whoever did it, amazing job. <laughs> Her delivery is always on point. It's ridiculous. Always. Is it me or does the harmonizing sound particularly particularly good in this show? They sound so good together. And speaking of sounding good, Kim always going way too hard. Oh cool. I like how the song ends abruptly because, you know, he is in control of when he comes in. It's a nice subtle way to reinforce that he's the apex predator. Okay, whoever this guy is, he's too good. I hate him. Does the cool guy like Chastity again? This again? Why is she so attracted to cool guys? <laughs> mm, I guess it's the whole goody goody vibe, right? This again. <laughs> Max was not the guy in Absence Camp, right? The, the, the character Jeff played. Homecoming's just an excuse for kids to dry hump in the gym. I run laps in that gym and I don't want to slip on any wayward spunk. Spunk. Can I carry your books for you? Carry my books? I don't think either of us are ready for that. I mean, we're only 18. <laughs> Oh, he's giving me headless vibes. You don't know me very hate well, it. <laughs> I hate it as in he's too good in this character. Tell me I'm wrong, dirty girl. Don't call me that. Dirty girl. I don't know. I feel like mm, I am only one girl. Is Chastity involved and his name is Jesus. in the killing? I don't know. She's <laughs> But seriously though. 
She's too intense. She's with one foot at the door to become a murderer. I feel like this could work. Yeah, exactly. That, that's there's the explanation. Yeah, see, if if Grace is the one who killed him, it makes sense, right? Because she doesn't want to be corrupted. I don't know. I don't know. I like that theory. Chest it, teeth. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, this was really interesting because many shows will have an introduction song to a relevant character where the other characters in the story talk about their perception of that specific character like they did with Max, so he's a literal monster but usually if that one character has a song where they talk about themselves it's to humanize them in a way that you understand their perception of themselves which is often different from what people think about them. They're usually two different songs, right? So in this case, if the other characters are going, oh, he's a literal monster, usually in his song, he would go, you know, people think I'm a monster. However, these are all my redeeming qualities. Or this is what I'm trying to do to not be a monster or whatever. They're usually contrasting. But here, his personal song is just a reinforcement of how bad he is. He's confirming that he is a monster. So there is no doubt. He is the villain of this piece and you shouldn't expect anything else. That was really interesting. I'm in a Kim era. I'm just like so in love with this woman. Next time you go to cheat, do it like a lawyer and don't get caught. I wouldn't have gotten caught if it weren't for that nerd. Stephanie, girl. please, I'd like to have an intelligent conversation with you. In other words, shut up. Oof. Yeah, shut up. You out. Oh. Stephanie, do you have any idea what's coming up? In you know, I feel for Stephanie. This is the mayor's daughter, a deviant. You will raise your grade. There's nothing you can threaten me with. Oh, really? Miss Tesper. Oh, no. Yeah, Not the right. phone. <laughs> Be careful with that, Dad. Please, Daddy. <laughs> I'll carefully smash it with this hammer. Oh. You would? Not even you would do something that evil. You know all my pictures are on there. <laughs> I found a weak spot, haven't I? So, so real. <laughs> No, she didn't put her hand between the phone and the. Did you I just throw your hand between the hammer and the phone? Why is she hiding? You can have this back once you've raised your grades. I don't care if you have to lie, cheat, steal, or shock of all shocks. Read a book for once in your life. How am I supposed to study without listening to Spotify? Do you even know what you're doing? Oh, you're killing me with what you're doing. Wow, that's a healthy family dynamic. <laughs> hey, fellas, ready to make life Newton and get this physics project in motion? Ah. <laughs> they can just show and just sit there, and I'm, I'll, I'll be smiling like a, like a fool. John's oh, hair, though. <laughs> oh, oh. Who do you think it is? Probably a telemarketer. Oh, lucky. I'm such a loser. <laughs> Telemarketers hang up on me. Aww. Hello? Hey, is this Peter Spankowski? Yeah? Hi, Pete. It's Steph. It's Stephanie Lauder, I know. <laughs> He's told me to Stephanie Lauder. <laughs> <laughs> what is she saying? You want me to meet you in Pasquale's? Oh, my God. Kids go before homecoming. Real, real. This is not a drill, Pete. This is a 
Joey is such a different Pete from Nick's in Abstinence Camp. Nick's Pete felt, you could still tell he was a nerd, but there was more of a confidence in him. As in, he was very comfortable with who he, he was and with what he wanted and what he believed in. Joey's Pete is a bit more naive and a little bit less sure of himself. Or well, that's what it feels like to me. Can you ditch those nerds and come help me out? Oh, what are you waiting for, Pete? A naughty schoolgirl wants to help her study? <laughs> what, what is happening? <laughs> Someone's going to tolerate your presence for a whole evening. This may never happen again. That's Just so sad. Up. I'll be there in 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't like this. I bet you call this luck. That's your perspective. But if their relationship is a thing that it doesn't is take a detective, it's as cool as I think. That it's it's one of those it's events cool that have to always happen, then maybe she's gonna fall in love with him. I don't know. Just don't want her to hurt him. <laughs> I'm straight to DVD. I'm as cool as I'm straight to DVD. <laughs> okay, that is one way I've never seen a character describe themselves before. No. <laughs> I hope I don't know the answer. <laughs> Aww, Pete. Okay. I like how he's gradually pumping himself up. Expecting like a da -da -da -da, like a beat drop, but it's fine. It's fine. It's more of a ballad. It's okay. Oh wow, the journey! I love the journey of that song. How he goes from "I'm not cool, I'm straight to DVD," which is a brilliant line, by the way. To you know what? Maybe I'm cooler than I think I am. To ah uh, no. Who do I think I am? That's the kind of layered song that I really enjoy because there is no way you know how it's gonna end. And once it does, it's always a surprise. It's kind of cool that it's also taking you on a journey inside this character's head. What's your button show doing on my turf? I didn't realize that the parking lot of Pasquale's belonged to you. Do not touch him. So do what? not touch him. You want me to grovel? Run so you can chase. Well, we've been doing this song and dance since the fourth grade. Okay, now, now I can see more of your... Nick's Shit. Pete here. Go Pete! I can't wait for him I to decide. die, honestly. <laughs> you're not a nerd because of your glasses or your goggle bag. <laughs> oh my god, it actually looks like a movie. The camera angles. I bring order to Hatchfield High. I'm your god. Jesus Christ. Amen. Here we go. Oh, how was the open house? Any buy? I cannot believe no one wants to buy that beautiful old house. What house, Dad? Well, the old Waven place down on Hickory. Mm, that house. What's wrong hmm. with it? It's haunted. Everyone says so. <laughs> I only believe in one ghost, Grace. My holy Spirit Here we go. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, stop calling her mother, it's so weird. <laughs> I don't 
think about that sort of thing. Me and Max and Carnal and Brace? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. Mom, will you pass the butt stuff? <laughs> butter? Will you pass the butter? <laughs> I just want some head and butter. Brett? Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna choke down. You and me both. You gotta stop fantasizing about some big, dumb football star. Big, dumb, sexy, sweaty, gray. Hello? What's cooking? I feel like it still makes sense for her to kill him. Because, you know, he what is. What are you doing in my bathroom of all places? Her temptation. I Oh no, the soup. The soup thing. No. This is the context. No. <laughs> if you guys ever mention soup on my live streams again. But what's that around your neck? Is that a crucifix? <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> face. Oh man, no. I got there's a whole song about the soup. I cannot believe this is the context of the suit. Actually, I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, then. What is this? Okay, I'm quiet because I have no words. <laughs> Oh my god. What the hell? Are you though? Think you're past that. Ugh. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Mate, no. I think I was happy not having the context for the context for the soup. I was happier then. You can't be having impure thoughts. You're not even married. This is his fault. Max, hey Herman. See? He's gotta go. I can. It's coming. It's coming. I can see this happening. He never showed. Was there waiting all night? I ended up studying at a sheer boredom. Ew. <laughs> you saved that place. How many characters has days. Kim played so far? Four or five. Chloe. Who is this guy anyway? Standing up to the mayor's daughter like he's got no fucks to give? Not gonna lie, that's really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Peter. Oh my god, the fucking bow tie kid? <laughs> <laughs> Either of you seen Peter around? <laughs> Why? Looking to kick him while he's down? Yeah, you got all our hopes up, temptress. <laughs> we thought you were wine for material, but... Oh my gosh! Point. Yeah, and we're gonna find you objects of our sexual desires, but then you'll be sorry. <laughs> what the hell happened to Pete last night? Oh, she's touching me! Lucky! <laughs> Pete? Are you in here? Steph, this is the boys' bathroom. Rob! Again, Steph going into the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Is this her thing? These toilets aren't even installed. You all just watch each other pee? <laughs> oh, it's better than I ever <laughs> imagined. That is gross. Aw. Pete, what'd he do to you? What, this? You should see the other guy. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Steph, the more you get involved, the worse things are gonna be for me. I'm sorry, Pete. I'm going to the principal with this. Huh. This is Max Jaegerman. If you think the principal cares more about us than the outcome of the big game, then you are willfully naive. Well, we have to do something. And what, pray tell, may that be, Stephanie? We destroy him. Grace. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm telling you. He very much is my business. He's more than a boy. He's an idea. One that strikes fear in the hearts of the meek. <laughs> And leave him helpless at our feet. How? 
I'm sorry, the atmosphere, this lighting, this, this creating... Oh, there's no song, okay. But that was a cool transition, though. The house was built in 1910 by Matthias and Agatha Whalen. They went on to build the city's most important landmarks, like the Starlight Theater, the Gazette, even the schoolhouse that would one day become Hatchet Field High. A little Satanism? Come on, baloney. It's true. Human sacrifices, demonic rituals, sex magic. <laughs> Her face like, mm, I'm into it. <laughs> Nothing really dies in the Whalen place. And when Max Jaegerman comes in contact with these ghosts, that's her plan. We're gonna film the whole thing. We're gonna post a video of him crying for his mommy, wetting himself with fear. He will cease to be the oh, most man. terrifying. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> Now I've got a song. Honestly, after watching Yellow Jacket and now watching Angela in this, her range, her range is just insane. <laughs> I love the, the finger snapping. <laughs> Those lyrics were crazy though. <laughs> She touched it. <laughs> You're like super nice to me. Not really. <laughs> I'm just doing the bare minimum. <laughs> You're the best friend I ever had. Oh, that's sad. I think I've been broke with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is she canoni canonically bisexual? Because I'm here for this. <laughs> you kind of look like that homeless guy from downtown. Still yeah. <laughs> I got that reference. <laughs> Max Jagerman's coming up the walkway. Operation Potty Pants is about to commence. It's the Jagermeister! <laughs> I brought the food. Yeah, that, that surname was totally on purpose. <laughs> Where's that creepy music coming from? Max Jagerman! What? You have disturbed the spirits of Whalen Hall. Now your soul shall be. Oh no. Hold over here, ghost. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. Ah. Uh, Grace, we got a problem. What? Is he not buying it? No, he thinks the ghost is real. He's just really fucking brave. <laughs> I'm gonna make you say boo hoo, bitch. No, 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 no. Yes. I make the dead run in fear. He sent in the skeleton. <laughs> Dad can call you a little cock. 
came and fight off one lousy skeleton. Oh wow. Got a little bit of backstory there. I got a bone to pick with you, bitch. Come here. I got to the plan. It's not working. It's working for me. He's so violent. Back up. This place is hella haunted. Get behind me. I'll protect you. No, no, it's not real, stupid. Oh no. Here's Spankowski. It's all a prank. A trick to scare the shit out of you. You're telling me you nerds put this whole thing together just for me. Wow. I thought you guys hated me. Honestly? Thanks. This was really great. <laughs> You're not pissed? No, no, no. This is like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Honestly, after that bill backstory, I'm not surprised. And the skeleton. That was really special. <laughs> you know, maybe I had you guys figured all wrong. I thought you're a bunch of nerds, but uh, you guys throw one hell of a. No way! He he accidentally dies. He just fell like three stories. Uh, come on! Oh heck! Oh heck! No! Okay, I did not see that coming. Oh! I'm gonna kill you all, nerdy! Say it. Just say it. Right before the big game, man. It wasn't an Terrible timing. It was an act of God. Oh, man. No more teasing. No more bullying. No more tickle in our mommy's box. <laughs> We're free. But I thought it was an idea. Ideas don't die, do they? People go missing every day. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> If someone had the the tips to do this, it was chastity. You know how haunting works, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, stop, keep stopping the nipple thing. I can't handle it. <laughs> Could go sarcastically. <laughs> like, go together? If you want. Oh my god, it's been two weeks! Just kiss okay. already! I'll see you there! Yeah, yeah, I'll see you there! Wow! <laughs> Things really are different around here. It's like the first day of school, yeah! Hey, Ruth, your headgear is fire today! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, they sound great together. Gee. You know, if I got two nipples for every time Star Kid has an opening of the set of Act 2 in high school, I'd have two nipples, which is not a lot, but you know, it's kind of funny that it happened twice. <laughs> hmm. I like it. Ah, ah. That's kind of funny. Oh no, Clydesdale. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> the ending, particularly. <laughs> Richie, we're sorry for bullying you for all those years. And we'd like to apologize in advance for if Max ever comes back, because we'll probably go right back to doing it. <laughs> we understand, we support and love you, but you fucking reek, man. Get the showers your lips. You got a chase? Go get him, Nighthawks! Fuck Clivesdale! Fuck him straight to hell! <laughs> <laughs> No, he's gonna die. I just remember. I feel like I belong. Aww. I love being alive. <laughs> Come on. That was low. Uh, this is it. Remember what you said? Oh. So he's got the blue veins, which means it's. The gooey thing, right? That keeps transforming people into crazy things. Oh, I got a bit like 80s now. Why is it so sparkly though? <laughs> The editing, the staging, the lighting, I love it. He was dead. He was so angry and he wasn't sexy at all. Mama, I'm cured! That's nice, dear. Do you have everything you need for school? Yes, just missing a kiss from mommy. Oh, great. Hang on, gang. It's so Oh, Mark, that's wonderful. Congratulations, Dad. Uh-huh. I told you your father would sell that old whaling place one of these days. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, what no. oh no. Oh <laughs> no. The one way I buried the body? <laughs> you don't say. Would they find that? They didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so heckin' fudged. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is not in this. 
and wouldn't just come out as the as the, the cop. You said that house would be abandoned forever. We trusted you. Then trust me that they can't trace anything back to us. Attention, Hatchetfield High. Ruth Fleming. Grace Chastity. Stephanie Lauder. And Peter Spankowski. Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, just maybe enough to scare him or teach him a lesson. Not even that. You sure you didn't see him in your AP calculus class last week? What? God said, listen here, little fucks. Seek the fight with Nighthawk was murdered the night of the big game. We lost the life to help. Someone killed Richie? We don't know anything about that one. Or any. <laughs> Is there anyone in Richie's life who might have had it out for him? Someone who maybe had a grudge against nerdy prudes? What? Killer left a message. Nerdy prudes must die. Now, does that mean anything to you? No. no. Oh, no. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> I like the Malfoy reference there. Zakerman's <laughs> last words, exactly. I mean, he was you, Spankowski. No. Someone told. Or there was someone else in the house that night. Don't be ridiculous. Wait. <laughs> someone else in the house. I'm gonna get those pigs off our backs. Why is she? Okay. <laughs> this is Hatchet Field Action News with Dan and Donna. Hatchet Field is reeling after an unspeakable loss. To the Clivesdale chemists. But chin up, Nighthawks. We'll get them next year. In other mm -hmm. news, two Hatchetfield High students have been brutally murdered. Richard Lipschitz <laughs> and Max Marion. Priorities, right? <laughs> Senna covered the protest live at the. Yeah! <laughs> I'm really glad I reacted to Nightmare Time before doing this. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the same same effect. Yes, that was so cool. Where do you think you're going? Rehearsal. 
I'm running the light board for the school production of the barbecue monologues. Alright, move along. Okay. They're actually gonna do the musical? <laughs> Here's the thing about a barbecue. <laughs> it brings folks together. There's a story behind every burger. I hope these stories tonight are a lot like these patties here. Well done. <laughs> That's the sound of love. Family. <laughs> Passion. Betrayal. I just want to make them happy. I just want my neighbor to finally notice me. I want to remember who I am. This is the story of my barbecue. My barbecue. My barbecue. <laughs> what? Ruth, we need to refocus that light center stage. That's a big theater, isn't it? Good for them. I guess. <laughs> no, don't kill her. Don't kill her. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> my dreams? I'm the star of the show. Oh, don't leave me out here with the lead, Maury. Oh, Maury. I turned 40 today. To me. Saturday, we installed a new bay window. And it was something right out of a dream I never had. Saturday. You know, I, I, it always impresses me how they can actually, like, performers in general can sing in character. I know it's silly, but it's probably harder than it looks to just stay in the, in the mind space and actually do the voice that is not your own. Oh no, she's going... She's getting too good now. <laughs> she's switching to Lauren mode. <laughs> That's sweet. Oh my god. Oh god. I mean, it feels like this song is very like detach from the rest because at this point we already like Ruth and we already know that you know she doesn't have friends and is craving for affection so I don't know is this song needed unless she dies right after then it sort of makes sense because you give us all of this emotional information about her Yes. Nice. The other day the Johnsons borrowed my tough shoes. I used to dance. Oh my god. I found your grill brush, boy. Okay, this was It was right here. Okay, this was actually long. more emotional than than I thought it would be. That I used to dance really did it. So she's gonna die right now, huh? Damn it. I can't see either. Please turn on the lights. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so in love with the lighting in the show. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Okay, that's brutal. Jesus Christ. That was aggressive. Alright, everyone, we're back. Places for the opening number. Ruth, did you get that? <gasps> <laughs> 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 
She's a drama teacher, all right. <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Chastity. Officer Bailey tells me you've come downtown to share some information regarding the ongoing murder investigation. Yes, I think I know who may be responsible. You seem so tight lipped oh, the she, other oh, day, she's but gonna, she's I'm gonna mess this up. Place. I was passing the Whalen place on Hickory when I saw Max Yeagerman hopping fence. Why would anyone want to go into that old spooky house? Hmm. <laughs> I never would. <laughs> then I saw a van pull up and a group of teenagers got out and followed Max inside. The van those kids were driving that night had a bumper sticker on it that read, Chemist. Oh. The mask of Apache Field sworn enemy, Clivesdale. Oh, oh shit, okay, not this, Clivesdale. This smart. This Think smart. About who stands to gain from these murders? Yeah, Max right, Yeager, yeah. Our star quarterback, as far as I'm concerned, every citizen of Clivesdale is guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> Grace, this is some incredible detective work. You're welcome. Uh, did you happen to lose a WWJD? Oh. Found it at the old Wayland place. <laughs> right next to the body of Maxwell Yeager. It's no sign. A forced entry. It's almost like they had a kid. <laughs> like maybe didn't one think of that, did she? Was a realtor. Isn't your dad a realtor, Grace? Oh, I don't think I should answer any questions until I have a lawyer present. <laughs> You're 18, Grace, and we can try you as an adult, and I will personally make sure they throw the fucking book at you if you don't start playing ball. Your little story here accounts for Max and Richie, but it doesn't mention the death of Ruth Fleming. Ruth's dead? So I don't know who's masterminding this murder scene. Uh -huh. But I know you're involved, and I want answers. Yeah, I don't know anything. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. No, 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 you can't do this to me, okay? This isn't my fault. Whose plan was it, Grace? It's God's plan. Panic. <laughs> 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 do something, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Grace, Grace, put the gun down. You don't want to do anything stupid. I don't even She's you. wild. I repeat, a pink bicycle with a basket and Ugo horn. Don't let that fool you. She is and extremely dangerous. Nice. Go get her on a bike this. <laughs> Now. I am hey, gonna go insane. Well, it sounds like the streets are safe again. Well, if you see anything suspicious, this is can, uh, way more than I uh, I would have asked hey, for, honestly. Gives me his number. Very smooth. What's your name again? It's Paul. Excuse me. <laughs> I have been waiting for what feels like five fucking years, and I still have not received my goddamn hot shot. Oh my god. <laughs> My wildest dreams. Thought I would see him again. <laughs> to be fair, it was very possible, but <laughs> keep it together. Keep it together. There's a murder on the loose. That was probably one of my favorite bits. They literally just got them in there to have Pete come in. Perfection. I'm sorry, I still can't get over it. <laughs> Oh wow. Yes, Lighter. You're crazy about me. Okay. What? It's what? true, but okay. <laughs> I only go on dates with guys who have the guts to ask me out, which you've never done. By the way, that dark at the beanies can't wear balls in here. Well, who says I want to go on a date with you anyway? I never wanted you anyway. <laughs> I always knew my place and knew my lane. Wait a minute, you're not out the room. Oh yeah. This is gonna end in a kiss, isn't it? It will. I know it. <laughs> the sexual tension, though. <laughs> it's so cute. Now kiss. Come on, come on.
Why would he leave me hanging? <laughs> Give me a cup of hot water and make it strong. <laughs> Do we need to get a hold of Ruth? Good luck getting a hold of her. Does your phone plan cover calls to hell? <laughs> She's bisexual and dead. Where else? <laughs> yes, Ruth is canonically bisexual. I'm very here for it. Love it. But don't worry. of terrible things. <laughs> So he knows. Stop who? Get in the car. It's a tough job to be mayor of this town. With the office comes knowledge of certain uncomfortable truths. What are you talking about? The church of the Star To be Church. fair, imagine Never the things this man knows. It's true. All of it. The stories, the cult, the rituals. Told job. For 150 years, the Waylands ruled this town. It took an army of axe-wielding maniacs to finally lay them low. And even then, they lived on. But nothing that dies in Wayland Hall ever truly dies. The church saw to that. A spell you three need. So the Waylands are key. And now someone else is the stuff that happens there, huh? Making good on his promise. Okay. Max Jaegerman is a fucking ghost. You created a literal monster, Stephanie. What is it? Is this the woods? What are we doing in the woods? No. Oh. <laughs> the Waylands had a weapon. The source of their power. When they were killed, it was lost. I don't know how many hands it went through, but 15 years ago. Is it the book? The black book? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes! Max won't stop with you. Once you're dead, he'll kill all the nerds everywhere. Okay. Assuming this isn't all just one big mind fuck. Hmm. How do we stop him? You're going to perform a ritual. To summon the things beyond the book, those that give the book its power. Oh no. The dark gods, the Waylands worship. <laughs> oh no. They're gonna summon them? With the lords in black. <laughs> it's like I always <laughs> say. You gotta come to the woods to do some nerd watching. Max, what happened that night? It was an accident. You know it was an accident. Stop trying to reason with it. I gave you the book. Perform the ritual. Oh, we don't know perform the ritual. Know. Wait, is this the best idea, though? I just put the moves on this total smoke show. She gave me head in her car. Check it out. Oh. Ah! Damn you, Miss Tessberger. You were worthless. Does this mean Miss Holloway can come in now? Die. That's not me. I hate politics. It's for nerds. No, 
Oh man. He's gonna kill the man! No way! Is anyone gonna survive this? <laughs> this coming not even surprised what do you think in here are you sure about this who knows what kind of door we're gonna open mm. is this Richie? how the lord's in black so so this yeah. happens before anything summon these bastards oh man okay you have no idea what you're doing oh sh i don't want to hear it just in case <laughs> okay so this is the origin story basically <laughs> oh man. Oh, there are people now. <laughs> no way. Why are they called the Lords in Black if none of them wear black? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so time bastard. Yeah, okay, everything happens after this. No, actually, if he was re referencing the fact that he has a Spankowski in his box, then time bastard happened before this. We need to stop Max Jagerman. We heard you can help us. I keep. I keep forgetting that I shouldn't see it as like a timeline as in what happens before what. So, okay, so technically, if it's just different universes, this is the origin, the origin story for this universe in particular, right? They've been here in other universes. Or... Ugh. That's all. <laughs> what we cherish most. One of you must give up the thing you treasure above all else. I know what it is. My phone. Amazing. We want what you want. <laughs> That's amazing. You can't lie to us, Steph. You can lie to yourself. in your pocket, Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> you gonna make her kill him? Put a bullet in his brain. Oh my god! Man, you got serious. So, this like one big event always happens in Hatchfield that someone has to summon them. Wow, that was cool. That was cool. Although, Steph, who do they want you to kill? You, Pete. I think we need to talk. <laughs> hey, nerds! We gotta get out of here. Run, Run. And we'll keep running. We'll hide. It 
forever. Where we go, he'll find us. Yeah. I know what those things want you to do. No way. No way. All my life, I just wanted a girl to like me. But I guess it's not all roses, huh? Oh man. Oh my god. I feel like Starkid secretly not just to save hate other. us all. You can call this luck. That's my perspective. One of us is in love. Aww. It doesn't take a detective. Let me take the bullet. Is it really a crime? No, Maybe no. You live your life to the fullest. What do you think you <laughs> Why? Why does he keep doing this? If I loved you, I could show it. Loved you more than the stars above. Oh, stop it! Loved you like I could always. I'd have to let you go. Ooh. Hey, Steph. If things were different, would you want to go to homecoming with me? Oh my god. <sighs> I'd like that. Really? Really? Cool. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I can't look it. I can't look. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I love how now it's actually clearly a lie. Well, it's always been a lie, but you know. Please, Steph. No, 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 no. Just do it. Please. She's not gonna do it, Shay. Don't do it. <laughs> what? She could be the one, the key. I used to have a crush on another guy who rose from the grave. But <laughs> Jesus never threw a football like you, Max. Oh my god. But you were right. I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I've been in my bathtub every night, brewing up a big old pot of dirty girl oh soup Oh my god, no. Stop. Stop with the soup. What? It's, it's what you call my bathwater in my sexual fantasies. Oh. That's nasty. <laughs> I like it. What the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> Take me, Max, right here on the My thoughts floor. exactly. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, man. I need a die. <laughs> Grace. Grace is ruined now. Max, I just gave you a gift. In fact, I just gave you what I cherish most. <gasps> my chastity. Stop. 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 I was actually gonna ask why can't chastity do something? <laughs> why can't she lose the, the thing she the thing she values? Oh my god. 
Why is she always say out here saving the day? Oh, this is, this is insane. You're in my world now, bitch. No. No, never. It was fucking worth it. <laughs> Plot twist though. I'm very glad Pete and Steph are safe. But at what cost? <laughs> Students, a patch has healed hard. It's been a rough couple of weeks, hasn't it? Rough. <laughs> we got through it together. Tonight is your homecoming. Enjoy it. All right, come on in. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, 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 Stephanie Lauder and Peter Spankowski. What the fuck you just say to me? Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Homecoming. You know, for a minute there, I didn't think we'd see it. Well, I had a change of heart and decided not to get Vance canceled. Mm. Thanks, Chris. Well, gotta go. My date's waiting. Did you guys know Jason goes to my church? Only for Christmas and Easter, but we're working on it. <laughs> you should know I'm a terrible dancer. Oh, let me take the lead. I took four years of tap. Mom said it'll help me make friends. Boy, was she wrong. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a nerd. But the bow tie's growing on. Oh, I love them so much. <laughs> What? What is this song? Wait, is, is, are they actually gonna close? Oh, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but is the final song gonna be about them? The both of them? <laughs> there was so much information about how to do here. I, I need a closure. wrong to end to end so happy I, I, <laughs> you know what I mean there's got there's got to be something oh, I love these people <laughs> but I don't know no it can't it can't end like this right I had a really nice time oh okay 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 too, okay Jason. okay <laughs> I always thought you were pretty well you can make it up to me if you like kiss me Okay. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> what? Really, Jason? Kissing on the first date? You oh, no. You grown up enough for that? Grace, we're 18. You're a dirty dude, aren't you, Jason? Well, someone needs to rid this town of 40. Oh, my God, she like kept you. the book. Oh, my Grace, God. What are you doing? Invoking the names. <laughs> This spell lets me devour Oh soul. my god. The souls of the pearls make me strong. Too much power for grace. Okay, now oh, we're talking. Now we're talking. That, <laughs> now was, that was too much joy for, for a Hatcherfield show. Grace, what are you talking about? I'm the girl you thought you knew. Just keep your hand there on my side. Like all the guys who came. I love how they completely erased the, the title of the whole show by the end of it. It's more like nerdy fruits will never die now. Wow. I can't say I'm surprised though. I've always seen Grace going full cycle. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's the ending I was talking about. This song is so freaking catchy. Survive it for so long. It's killing me. I love this song. Definitely my favorite. That was 
a lot to process. <laughs> My favorite thing was definitely all of the references we have to the Hatcherfield universe and how much lore you get, but also in the sense of I had no idea this was even possible <laughs> because, you know, even though I could totally see this ending coming for Chastity, it's still very surprising for the show because the freaking thing is called Nerdy Prudes Must Die, right? So I really love how they flipped that. I wasn't into the songs as much as I thought I would be. I really loved some of them. High School's Killing Me is a proper banger, but they still haven't topped Black Friday in terms of music quality to me. The guy playing Max, I hope we see more of him. He was amazing. I generally hated him throughout the whole thing. <laughs> but I really love how they always give us bits of backstory to all of the characters that always make you question your original perception of the characters. And for Max, it was that moment where he goes, wait a second, you guys did all of this for me? Maybe you're actually cool. And then we also learned that he probably has a, an abusive father. So it's like small glimpses of things that make you understand the character better and are very relevant even though they're so subtle. I think besides the writing and all of the references you get to past shows and Nightmare Time, the technical elements of this show were certainly like no other they've ever done, right? The staging, props, costumes, lighting, the lighting, it looked absolutely stunning. Now based on how it ends, my main question is if this is actually a multiverse, does this mean that in this universe, Grace is the one responsible for invoking the Lords in Black every time? Does she have that power? Or did she become like a mass of them in every universe? I need to know how much power she has. <laughs> because Jesus Christ, I could not think of anyone worse. <laughs> Actually, I could, but you know, this is pretty bad too. <laughs> now I feel like I need to go away and think about this and think about all of this information that was thrown into us. Maybe I should do another live stream for us to talk about Hatchet Field and all the theories we are theorizing <laughs> after Nerdy Birds Must Die. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of a good idea. Should I do it? Should we have a Hatchet Field live stream? Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Then make sure you leave a like and your comments below. And I'll see you next time to conquer the world of musical theater. Keep singing.